Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into, to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me, you know, being able to resonate. And we're all on the same uh, frequency of, you know, we're going through different situations, but we're able to resonate with what, what's going on with us as empaths and aokas and whatever other uh, spiritual gifts you have. Um, so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also... If you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up, tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times and need confirmation or validation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me and the channel is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, these lights, they, see, <laughs> as soon as I move my hands, sometimes the lights will poof. There it goes again. Let me stop moving my hands so much. Uh, even though, you know, I, I, I love to talk with my hands. Um, the meditation music I'm listening to today is eight hours of relaxing music of stress relief. Completely beat insomnia music for deep sleep and meditation y'all yesterday as i finished doing my videos I, did, I was so proud of myself i did everything i said i was going to do and you know that that takes a lot for me because i can sit up here and plan my whole day out and next thing you know i get laughed at because then nothing went best by the way i had to go so i went ahead did the videos did my nature walk and it was just so peaceful being able to listen to nature speak to me and it was so relaxing and came back i had to motivate myself to do some more um cardio and stuff like that so i did cardio and yoga i said i thought i was going to do another 95 minutes but i said bump down do another 40 because my body was so sore so i was just like yeah go ahead and do it and i drank so much water last night thinking i was going to have a good sleep to wear myself out no, I kept on because I drank so much water. I drank like about six bottles of water yesterday, back to back to back. I went to the bathroom every five minutes. Waking up, I was so frustrated. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. But today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, what's in you they can never take away. I heard this yesterday. Um, Lauren London, uh, Nipsey Hussle's girlfriend, uh, said this at his memorial uh thing that they had for him the other day i couldn't watch it it was just too just watching that little clip of four minutes i was bawling i mean i didn't know a lot about this guy but it's just the energy of love that you felt in that situation she said he always used to say that what's in you they could never take away they might be able to take away anything else but what is instilled in you they cannot take that away and that's true and it was just like the love that they had for that man was so beautiful but it just it makes you realize it's like every year it just seems like they're always wiping one of us out or wiping you know because you can tell he was an empath just the way she talked about him and it was just like so heartfelt that you know people try to change us try to mask the things we are we we're not supposed to tell you know push out positivity we're not supposed to show love you know it's just like this world is full of hate you know, and it's just like we need more love in this world today. You know, it's just like we're, we're spreading out positivity. That's why I love doing it in my videos, you know, bring awareness towards people. Allow you allow you to know no matter what you are, what gift that has been placed upon you, you need to be proud to have that. And a lot of times we feel like it's a curse until you can really get used to seeing the beauty within all the things. Yes, there is some little fine print we got about our, our, our gifts. Yes, that's, you know, that's just anything. But being able to be proud of who you are because we spread so much love, we, we are able to spread awareness. Being able to be accepted for who you are because we need this in life because it's too much hell raising going around right now. It's like there's wars, you know, there's segregation, there's, you know, divide. It, it's just too much. It's like you think we, we got out of segregation, but they're still doing this mess still to this day. And it's just so hurtful. But being able to, you know, 
spread positivity, being able to be who you are and being proud of who you are. I embrace my, my spirituality 120%. If I can do it more than that, I'm going to do more than that. Because it, I'd rather spread love than spread hate. I can't, t I don't have time for it and I won't tolerate it. So it's just like when you are whoever you are and what is it been instilled into you, don't allow the hateness that you have experienced throughout life make you shy away from the things that you truly are i've had that happen to me as a child growing up because it was always looked upon as a, 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 a illness a mental illness you know and it's scary like i've said before you know if you don't you know if you're not aware of things that are going on with you in life and you're going through spiritual awakenings it will make you feel like you're losing your mind your world is falling apart but it's just a blessing when i can be able to do these videos and be able to tell people you're not alone whatever you're going through is not a psycho uh psycho uh experience or whatever you want to call it psychoanalysis experience or whatever excuse me but you know just to know that you're going through a spiritual awakening for you to be able to acknowledge what you truly are they cannot take that away from you if you're an indigo they cannot take that away if you're a twin flame they cannot take that away if you're a hayoka they definitely can't take it away you know just all these things you should never ever feel like is a curse because i mean it might feel like it's a curse when you know when you first find out about it because there is some downfall about it but when you can actually know what you're doing being able to control like the energies that are coming towards you you have to be able to bless yourself being able to protect yourself in love and light and not allow the negativity the negative vibes to be able to come towards you because it's a scary situation that um we can experience going through those different situations because if you don't know what you're doing I mean, anything can come attached to you. And it's just like, I've, I've had that before and I have to be able to block it out. Because, you know, I, I'm around a certain narcissist around, you know, on a daily basis. And I have to be able to control myself throughout the negativity. And that takes a lot of strength, being able to accept what you are and not allow things of others to affect you, around you, is the best way you can go about it. Because it's just like, no matter what you do, Especially a hey Oka, you can be able to um, mirror towards people. People have a bad tendency of wanting their ugliness to shine through when you come around and in, in the room. You know, and it's just like, hey, it is what it is, but these are the things that you need to change about yourself while I'm doing the same. Because I feel like nobody's perfect, but when you can sit up here and admit your flaws and admit, admit the things that you need to change about yourself, that, I mean, that's how you start off with strength. You know, people think, oh, because if you cry or you show too much emotion, that's weakness. No, it's not. Being able to you know, fight off your emotions and not wanting those to show, I feel like that's a sign of weakness. When you when you don't want to cry or you, you can't cry, that's a sign of weakness because you don't want that to come out. You don't want nobody to see you as that type of person. And I feel like anybody who's really genuine should be able to do that. You know, and it takes time. And it's just like, it's not trying to say, oh, you're a weak person. No, you need to be able to release any kind of emotions that you have because you are who you are and that's something that you can't take away from yourself no matter who tries to beat it out of you or any kind of negative situation saying oh because you're like this you have a mental illness i've had that growing up i got tired of hearing that because it's like i don't have a mental illness i'm being able to tell people for what they are and it's just for an empath our downfall is that we we try to find the goodness in everybody and i mean that's not it's not a bad thing but it could be a bad thing for us if you know these people are trying to use us or these people are trying to you know make us stoop down to their level that's the issue but it's just like when you are who you are you got to be proud of being who you are because knowing you're going to be that person that has that duty to help the world turn around because that is what is coming towards us we have to be able to spread this love being able to spread positivity because this world is filled with darkness and hate and all these madness monsters that's why i've been calling madness monsters because it's just i get tired of hearing all the negative 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 ugh, negativity you know people getting taken out they're being used for example a thousand forty four you know it's just like all these people there uh that are spreading positivity trying to bring the world up with goodness and love they're trying to take them out like no we don't need this 
you know, and it, it's a sad situation we have to go through, no matter what, even if they try to take you out, that is not going to take away your character, that people are going to still see you as that person to try to do good, just like with Nipsey, you know, they, they tried to, you know, silence him, and this is the person that was helping out his community, helping out black people, anybody that was trying to do a come up, he had no problem with helping folks, and you know, and it's a blessing for you know, Obama said, sent something towards his family and stuff like that. The L.A. cops were doing something. I was just shocked about that, especially after the Rotten King situation. I didn't think anything was <laughs> good going to come away from, you know, L.A. cops. But that was just a blessing being able to see how much this man has influenced different people. And seeing all these people at that man's, you know, uh, memorial situation. I was like, gosh, there was over a million people in there. But being able to see yourself for who you are and being proud to be who you are is such a blessing. And do not let anybody else tell you different because you deserve to be who you are. And knowing that God has blessed you with a situation for you to be able to bring spread love and goodness around everybody, that's what we totally need right now. So don't ever shun, shun your gift away. So I hope you are able to recon uh, recognize resonate with the content of my video much love to you i'm going to give a post notification shout out to amber g daquan uh, bradley and trap town much love to you i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend i hope everybody you know sends out love and you know positivity anywhere you see fit you know kind words can really go a long way you never know what people are going through these days so like and subscribe hit the notification bell drop a line even share the video give me a thumbs up and you know what give me give me your feedback on this video is greatly appreciated and i will see you on my next one i hope y'all have a blessed safe weekend and i will talk to you later much love peace and be wild